try to get around them the best they can because yeah. she's going to be sitting there waiting for them. Kingfisher coming off its first loss of the season as uh, they don't even contest the jump, but we are underway. The Lady Jackets lost to Perry in the finals of the Wheat Capital Tournament on Saturday. Tuttle won the tournament over in Weatherford. And right, right off the bat, they get it down low to Landry Allen, and she's got the first basket of the game. And not so much against Perry, but still their fair share of it. Yeah, and Perry had a good post play too, I Absolutely. think. Three-pointer up and in. That's number 14, Allie Real. That was lone loss this season. Came at the hands of number one, Anna Darko. No shame in that. But surprised some people, I think. And there's Green with a floater, and that's Kingfisher's first points. Matthews, a short corner shot, knocks it down. That's one of them, especially when those bottoms are coming out like that. Uh, really attack that short corner and high-low area. You're basically playing two on one. Hadley Perryman gets it underneath, goes up with the left hand and scores. Just got a great text from Sherry Myers. She's watching at home. <laughs> um, as we're going to see Taylor drive and get blocked by Allen. But Myers again. And right there. I mean, it looked like she'd have no problems getting that shot off, but that's just what Allen's able to do. And it turns into a three on the other end. The say that Wilson knocks it down. Well, they spring Allen loose on that. And good turnaround jumper. And up against that press. So Coach Spears called a timeout. Myers pulls up for three. Got the kind roll there. Kingfisher's been able to put pressure on the ball. They've caused Tuttle with a few problems, had him turn it over a few times. Come in. There's some of that pressure you talked about. That's exactly what got Kingfisher back into the game against Garber. And Walker stays with it, gets the steal. She's going to go in, shoots the layup, and gets it. And you called that one, Jay. The pressure forced the turnover. You trailed Garber by 14 points going into the fourth quarter of the Wheat Capital semifinals, if you didn't watch that game and used the pressure as that three-pointers up and in by Allie Real, her second one of the game. Pressure by Tuttle. And Serber. Got the steal, missed it a couple times, kept getting rebounds, nobody boxed out. And she's gonna go to the line for a chance at a three-point play here, so. Well, Dewberry's not afraid. She attacked it. She's rewarded with the bucket. Um, skip pass, that three-pointer no good. But another offensive rebound. They get it down low to Allen. She's fouled and drops it. State. They get it in low to Britt. She bobbles it, gets the shot up, but it's blocked. Kick real got that one from behind. It is poked out of bounds. Well, and promptly blocks Taylor underneath. See how she had a triple-double with block. You don't often see triple-doubles with blocks. Uh, kind of figured out after watching her play. <laughs> yeah. uh, excuse me, Matthews misses that free throw. So Lady Jackets. Weatherford's in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a tough conference. you got to come ready to play every night. Just pokes it back in as she was boxed out. Yeah, Allie did a good job, yeah. just her length got, got to the ball. So. And it results in a knockdown bucket there by Hadley Perryman. Walker attacks. Yep. Right. Fisher with the ball to start the second half. Try to get in the high post of Myers, it's knocked away by Allen. Sets up a fast break opportunity for the Lady Tigers out. We'll just throw it way up in the air to Allen. Yeah. Well, Walker just attacks Allen and Landry barely had to leave her feet. Yeah. 
He, uh, just, he just puts a he ties string to thumbtacks and puts in trying to do the best to make it fair as possible for everybody. That's a well, Dewberry. I, we could kind of see that one was going to creep its way over. Almost a steal, but Allie Green does get it. She's going to attack. High off the glass, no good. Allie Stevenson gets it. And she's there. Good ball move it there. And it's rewarded with the three-pointer from Britt Taylor, her first points in the game. We're that good. Well, King Fisher moving the ball here. Matthews gets it swatted out of bounds. But and I didn't even know what. I mean, they run a set. I don't even know what they do. I just know it was a good set, and they scored, got a good look. Three's probably ran it the other night. Didn't say that. But he wasn't sure he was going to get to implement it. Just by the Lady Tigers, extend their lead 44-18. Green gets that one blocked by Perryman. There's some more of that ball man. that makes shots. Uh, tonight, a bit overmatched. As Green sidesteps, gets it to go. Well, I think you, yeah, they did. Took they took shot it, it really well. Took it to you pretty good in the regular season and, and beat you pretty bad at home. I don't remember the margin, but I know it wasn't that close. And you see him again as Al uh, You know, we, we had a winning culture there yeah. where we were used to winning. Uh, we'd had a lot of big ball games with Okarchi and won our fair share. Stafford catches it on the inbounds underneath. Good seal off there for her. And she gets her first points. You know, we have over there Kate Henderson, who was pretty much the sixth man. Yeah, and she's in, not playing either. So. Injured, the, injured the second game, and she hasn't been able to come back yet. Injured her ankle, foot, ankle area as Green gets a steal. And overall, 